In the heart of cinematic history lies a time capsule of endearing nostalgia, a 1968 classic that zoomed its way into the hearts of millions, forever etching its charm into the tapestry of memory. Ah, The Love Bug, a title that conjures not just a movie, but a delightful voyage back to that first encounter with a charmingly anthropomorphic car named Herbie. Can you still recall that moment when your eyes first met the adorable VW Beetle with a mind and will of its own? Maybe you were a child, utterly captivated by the idea of a sentient car, or perhaps it was a later discovery that led you to unravel the delightful world of racing shenanigans and unlikely friendships. From its opening scenes, the film spun a tale that was equal parts whimsical and heartwarming, whisking us away to a time when a car could hold the promise of more than mere transportation. As the story unfurled, you found yourself caught in the whirlwind of races, comedic mishaps, and a lovable underdog that defied all expectations. It's those indelible moments that still shimmer in the corners of your mind, Herbie's mischievous antics, the infectious camaraderie between characters, and the sheer joy of a car that became more than just metal and machinery. But enough with the sentimental reverie, let's rev up the engine of knowledge and cruise into some random facts about the love bug that might just tickle your nostalgia bone. Imagine, if you will, that behind the scenes of those timeless scenes were anecdotes that add a layer of intrigue to the film's legacy. From the meticulous craftsmanship that brought Herbie to life, to the unexpected hurdles the production faced, each tidbit is a puzzle piece that completes the grand picture of this cinematic gem. So, dear reader, buckle up as we journey through time to unveil these captivating nuggets of trivia about the love bug. Who would have thought that a car could inspire such curiosity and wonder? As we delve into the lesser-known aspects of this iconic film, let your mind meander back to that first encounter, that initial spark, and those cherished memories that linger like the soft purr of an engine in the distance. Fasten your seatbelt, for the journey through Herbie's world is about to begin anew, painted with shades of intrigue and fresh understanding. And remember, sometimes, the smallest creatures, or cars, carry the most enormous impact. The 1968 movie The Love Bug emerged as a delightful blend of comedy and fantasy, capturing hearts with its endearing tale of a charismatic Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie. This iconic film was birthed from Dizzy's imaginative prowess, enchanting audiences with its unique premise. The story follows a down-and-out racing driver, Jim Douglas, who discovers that his newly acquired Beetle, Herbie, possesses a mind and will of its own. The film's charm is further heightened by the charismatic characters, such as the lovable Herbie and the determined Jim, creating a memorable dynamic that drives the narrative forward. The love bug stood out with its distinct style, combining slapstick humor and heartwarming moments. The film's whimsical portrayal of a car with human-like qualities offered a fresh perspective on the classic buddy trope, contributing to its enduring appeal. The movie's success was a testament to its ability to blend light-hearted comedy with a touch of sentimentality, striking a chord with audiences of all ages. The impact of the love bug on popular culture was profound, spawning a franchise that included sequels, spin-offs, and even a TV series. Herbie, the anthropomorphic car, became an iconic symbol, inspiring a generation of car enthusiasts and leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. The film's themes of friendship, determination, and the unexpected bonds between humans and machines resonated universally, contributing to its lasting legacy. In essence, The Love Bug remains a testament to the magic of Disney's storytelling and its ability to create enduring characters and narratives. Its endearing characters, unique style, and timeless themes have left an undeniable imprint on the fabric of popular culture, ensuring its place in the hearts of generations to come. Herbie the Love Bug, a racing icon born from modified engines and movie magic in the tumultuous year of 1968, as cultural shifts and political unrest roiled the nation, a film arrived that would capture hearts, minds, and box office records. The Love Bug, directed by Robert Stevenson and produced by Walt Disney, became an unexpected sensation, captivating audiences with the whimsical tale of a sentient Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie. While the movie itself charmed audiences, it was the behind-the-scenes ingenuity that truly set this film apart. Over 20 different VW Beetles were enlisted in the making of the film, each meticulously modified to fulfill various roles. However, when it came to the high-octane racing scenes that propelled the plot forward, the standard 40-horsepower VW 1200cc engine fell woefully short in conveying the image of a competitive race car. To overcome this hurdle, the ingenious minds behind the scenes turned to the famed VW Tuner EMPI. Enter Herbie No. 2, a standout star in its own right. This Beetle was transformed with a powerhouse 90 horsepower 1600cc Porsche flat 4 engine borrowed from a Porsche 356 Super 90, a sports car known for its agility and speed. With its newfound muscle, Herbie No. 2 roared to life, hitting speeds of around 115 miles per hour, a significant upgrade from its original incarnation. This souped-up Beetle not only tackled the racing scenes with aplomb but also boasted upgraded suspension, braking, and even a wider track and wheels for enhanced stability. A true racing marvel, Herbie No. 2, with its Porsche pedigree, managed to embody the spirit of competition and camaraderie at the heart of the film. But what makes this version of Herbie even more remarkable is its survival beyond the silver screen. 
Residing across the Atlantic in England, Herbie No. 2 still thrives, its original Porsche 356 engine a testament to the film's enduring legacy. A reminder that even in a world of Hollywood make-believe, there are tangible connections that persist. The success of The Love Bug transcended its cinematic appeal. Guinness World Records crowned at the top moneymaker of 1969 in both the United States and Canada, solidifying its status as a cultural touchstone. Dean Jones, a lead actor in the film, attributed its triumph to a poignant fact. The Love Bug marked the final live-action project authorized by Walt Disney himself before his passing. As the annals of film history continue to evolve, The Love Bug remains an emblem of innovation, creativity, and a cherished relic of a bygone era. A tribute to the power of movie magic, it showcased the boundless possibilities that arise when imagination and engineering collide. In the bustling world of 1960s cinema, one unlikely star emerged, captivating audiences with a blend of automotive charisma and unexpected wit. The Love Bug, a 1968 film by Disney, introduced the lovable character known as Herbie, a Volkswagen Beetle with a personality that stole the show. Yet, little is known about the curious casting tale that brought Herbie to life. As production gears turned, Disney orchestrated a unique casting call that set the stage for Herbie's iconic role. A diverse array of cars, including Toyotas and Volvos, were lined up outside the studio, awaiting scrutiny from the discerning crew. Amidst the contenders stood the pearl white Volkswagen Beetle, destined for greatness. Crew members, accustomed to kicking tires and gripping steering wheels, approached the Volkswagen differently. Their touch turned tender as they petted the Beetle, a decisive gesture that secured its place in cinematic history. Herbie's endearing name carries its own tale, woven into the film's behind-the-scenes narrative. During a moment of levity, the crew indulged in Buddy Hackett's comedic skit featuring a ski instructor with a peculiar accent. Hackett's declaration, if you ain't got a Herbie, I ain't going, resonated, and the name Herbie found its eternal home. A chance encounter with humor birthed an identity that would charm generations. Among the artifacts of cinematic enchantment, a solitary relic endures. The lone trick Herbie from the movie's repertoire, capable of independent oil squirts and door-opening theatrics, remains under the ownership of Dean Jones. A testament to the enduring allure of the love bug's legacy, this singular piece bridges the gap between the big screen and reality. In 1968, the love bug took audiences on a whimsical ride, and its impact endures in the hearts of fans. Herbie's origin tale, woven with touch, humor, and ownership, adds depth to the enchanting narrative of an underdog beetle that wheeled its way into cinematic immortality. Herbie's journey, unveiling the wheels of the love bug in the groovy year of 1968, a cinematic classic burst onto the silver screen, forever etching itself into the annals of American pop culture. The Love Bug, a whimsical tale of a sentient Volkswagen Beetle with a penchant for racing, captured the hearts of audiences young and old alike. Yet, beneath its whimsy, the movie harbored a fascinating trail of automotive history and sports inspiration. At the heart of this filmic joyride lies an intriguing backstory. The story's roots trace back to Gordon Buford's novel Car, Boy, Girl, published in 1961, nearly seven years before the movie's debut. This literary progenitor laid the groundwork for the cinematic hijinks that would follow, setting the wheels of the love bug in motion. But what truly revved up the intrigue was the iconic yellow Thorndike special, better known as Herbie. A four-wheeled star unlike any other, Herbie was brought to life using an Apollo GT chassis. Built in Oakland, California, Apollo's boasted Italian-crafted body shells and American muscle under the hood, aluminum Buick 215 CID V8 engines to be exact. The melding of transcontinental craftsmanship resulted in the unforgettable bug with a mind and heart of its own. The Apollo GT's connection to the silver screen didn't stop with the love bug. Its parent company later birthed another automobile star, the Intermechanica Italia, famously featured in The Million Dollar Duck, starring the charismatic Dean Jones. Speaking of Dean Jones, this actor graced not just one, but two of these automotive-themed films, solidifying his place as a staple in the hearts of car-loving moviegoers. And then there's Herbie's number, The Immortal 53. In a twist of cinematic fate, this digit wasn't plucked from thin air but rather inspired by the world of sports. As the documentary accompanying the movie's DVD reveals, Herbie's number was a hat tip to none other than Don Drysdale, the pitching legend of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Drysdale's number 53 jersey became Herbie's moniker on the racetrack, sealing the bug's connection to the athletic spirit of the time. So, whether it was the pages of a novel penned years prior or the melding of Italian craftsmanship and American engineering prowess, the love bug careened into the hearts of audiences, leaving tire tracks of nostalgia and innovation. As we look back on this motoring masterpiece, let us remember that behind its whimsical facade, a tapestry of automotive lore and sports homage weaved itself into the story we know and cherish today. And there you have it, the four-wheeled tale of the love bug that sped its way through time, fueled by history, craftsmanship, and a touch of sports admiration. As the final credits roll on this cinematic journey, I hope the whimsical charm of the love bug has stirred delightful memories within you.
Like Herbie, that iconic VW Beetle, the film's magic transcends time, reminding us that even the most unconventional companions can leave an indelible mark on our hearts. Whether you first encountered Herbie's mischievous antics on a lazy Sunday afternoon or discovered the film during a nostalgic movie night, the love bug has woven itself into the fabric of our shared experiences. It's not just a tale of a magical car, it's a story of friendship, determination, and the exhilarating feeling of defying expectations. Now, as you ponder the echoes of laughter and the warmth of nostalgia that the movie has left behind, I invite you to share your personal connection with the love bug. What scene still makes you chuckle? Which character do you find yourself secretly rooting for? Your cherished memories breathe life into this timeless classic creating a tapestry of affection that spans generations. So, whether you're reminiscing with friends over coffee or sharing a quiet moment of reflection, remember that the love bug continues to touch hearts and fuel dreams, just as Herbie himself raced into the hearts of audiences in 1968. Thank you for indulging in this journey down memory lane, and for allowing the enduring allure of the love bug to once again take center stage in your thoughts. Until we meet again, keep the spirit of adventure alive, and may your own stories be as captivating as the one that Herbie and his friends shared. Warm regards and gratitude, your name.